so far so good and I thought I'd give you guys a quick lowdown on my wiring so far I just started the DC wiring and this is coming out of the Bluetti EB3A and you can see right now I have this plugged in with the heaviest uh, car lighter adapter I could find on Amazon that has a 12 gauge wire this actually has a built-in fuse on it and you can see right now at least with just these four on the max dimmer darn bright let me uh zoom this back out here just kind of give you an idea on the dimming of this now you might see some flickering on this because of the refresh rate of the video but at least in person i don't see any flickering whatsoever you're going to see this in the video obviously because of the uh, 30 frames per second of the 1080p video but in person i don't see any flickering whatsoever so this is on max this is about halfway and this is all the way down so switch works really good and i'm using marine grade 12 gauge wire and i got 100 feet of this off of amazon but just to give you a quick lowdown on this obviously coming out of the blue eddy eba3 with this heavy duty 12 gauge wire and this goes into this is the tv door i took the tv out of it and this goes through the hole and wires into my dc fuse panel and right now you can see my positive is up here negative is down here i got a just set up just testing it right now and then this flows out of my negative and positive terminals out of the fuse uh, block comes up this wire Let me zoom out here quick so coming out of here I drilled a hole up in here and I just took a one by four and I got these puck lights off of Amazon I drilled one and a quarter inch uh, holes with a hole saw and I just use some chunks of one by three here to space this down. And I plan on getting, I do have a 12 foot one by three already cut and that's gonna cover this as like a coffer, just to kind of give you an idea of how this is gonna look. And that's obviously 12 foot trailer. This one by three will be 12 feet long. That one by four with the dr holes drilled into it is also 12 feet long. And um, that wire comes down through the wall to this dimmer switch, which I also got off Amazon. And I'm using the Wago um, connectors here. And it works great, especially with, even with this heavy gauge, 12 gauge wire. And so far, so good. And with these four puck lights on full max, just to give you an idea... It is using seven watts. I mean, that is next to nothing. And if I lower this down to halfway, so halfway down, about right there, say like we're at, at night, we're chilling out, ready to go to bed. At halfway on this dimmer, it is only using two watts. I mean, it's literally sipping off of this battery. It'll, it'll literally last forever. Matter of fact, if I lower this down enough and I still have a little bit of light at the very low end, so damn near all the way off, it is zero watts. It's, damn, it's not even really registering. I'm sure it's probably like one watt. Um, but this is a 268 watt hour lithium iron phosphate battery which you know usually it's rated for about 85 percent of that so we'll just say roughly 250 to 260 watt hours i'm actually theoretically going to get out of this out of 100 percent charge and right now if i do this at this dim down setting it's going to literally last 250 hours um let me zoom back out here so if I have this cranked all the way up, full max, it's using 7 watts. That's just roughly 260, 250 divided by 7. That's how long it's going to last for these four puck lights on full max. And I figured I'd quick show this to you before I wire up the uh, other 
dimmer switch here, which is going to come up here and supply power to this dimmer light right above the door. And that circuit's going to continue around to these two right above the kitchen. I'm also going to put two more lights underneath here. I still have to build that. Um, and that will be on its own dimmer switch. So it'll be two, four, five puck lights on this dimmer switch and these four on this dimmer switch. So figure I'd just give you a quick update on this, at least with the Blue Eddy EB3 to power our cargo trailer conversion.